Hey, this is Luke Simons with Salt Strong. Today we're gonna to be doing a review of this DOA Swimming Mullet. This is a lure that I've had for a really long time and I just didn't really know an application for it and I found a really good application for it uh, recently and I'll be really curious to uh, to hear your thoughts if you have used this lure you know what type of situations do you use it and I I do mostly inshore fishing and so this is actually pretty heavy this is uh, over an ounce so it's yeah it's a one and one fourth ounce uh, that's the the weight right there the eye is a big weight and then the the rest of it is the uh, a soft body so I'll go ahead and open it but the the application that I found to be very useful in is uh, is fishing you know like near shore reefs uh, I was on one and about uh, you know 25 to 30 feet of water. Uh, there was some tarpon rolling, and I, I was actually casting that tarpon, and I uh, ended up catching a really nice snook. Oh, oh. A snook. <laughs> nice snook. Ooh, look at those tarpon roll. It's a fishy spot right now. All right. First fish I ever caught on this thing. And uh, and then I had another snook, a really big snook, I mean like a 40 incher, come up come up and uh, and chase it up right right to the boat, but uh but it missed. I I, I didn't see it until it was too late and I had already yanked it out of the water. But cool little bait. And so I'll describe the, you know, the pros and the cons that I've seen so far. I'm not affiliated with DOA in any way. So I'll, I'll tell you my, my true uh, candid feedback. And, uh, and, and again, if you have used this lure, I'd be really curious to hear you know, what sort of application that you've, uh, you've used it in. So you know, please do leave your comment. Whether it's overly good or overly bad, it's full transparency. We're not gonna gonna take it down. But as far as what this lure looks like, it's really just like a hollow body. You know, it's it's actually pretty strong plastic. So like a, a pro, I'll go through the pros, is that it is a soft plastic, but it is pretty tough. I caught a barracuda uh, with it as well that same day, and and the bait was still in pretty good shape. It did have a couple little tears. But, uh, but all in all, it, it, it held up well with a good snook and a, and a barracuda. Another pro is that it does have pretty good action. You don't really have to do all that much. Um, even you know, just, just swimming it, just doing a straight swim, you know, it does do a little, uh, a little tail shake. And I had some hits you know, doing a straight retrieve, you know, going pretty quick, as well as kind of jigging it, where I was making it do uh, you know, a vertical look. And then again, that one big snook hit it while I was uh, totally retrieving up. It was coming up to the, uh, to the surface. I believe this can be trolled as well. I didn't try trolling. I was casting and the fact that it is so heavy, it casts an absolute mile. So I was able to cover a lot of ground there out there on that, uh, on that reef. The cons, you know, first of all, again, the fact that it is soft plastic after some, some fish, especially some toothy fish, um, it's going to tear and you're right. And so you're going to have to go through them. I believe you can buy some of these bodies, uh, separately. It says, uh, yeah, it says here, you can buy them, uh, probably from their website. Uh, as far as targeting tarpon on them, I did, I did hook into one. Uh, unfortunately, the GoPro was off at that point, but uh, but it, it 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 had one jump. It was a big tarpon. One jump, it was off. I mean, the fact that this is a uh, you know over an ounce of weight right there at the hook um, for tarpon fishing, this is gonna it's gonna be tough to land them. You know, there's just so much weight there that they can. Uh, can shake that hook right out. And, and the third con for people like me who spend a lot of time in shallower water, you know, under 20 feet, really under 10 feet in, in most uh, most instances. So far, I haven't found an application, uh, you know, under 10 feet of water that uh, that I would like to use this uh, above anything else. All right, well, that was just my feedback. Again, I'm, I'm fairly new to using it. I really just wanted to, to start the conversation, put it out there. I'd love to hear your feedback on uh, on what you've uh, what you've found that it's uh, it's good and what you know what sort of of conditions you know here's what it looks like in the store you know I, I've had one in my tackle box literally for like two years or more and uh, and I've never really used it and then after that day where I caught the good snook missed the really good snook and, and jumped the tarpon uh, I went out and got a few more so I now I'm now loaded and uh, and ready for my uh, my next trip out there to the, to the reefs. Well, thank you so much for your time and watching this video. If you have any questions at all, you can leave a comment down below. And as I said before, if you know, if you have used this lure and uh, and can share you know pros and cons that you've experienced so far, I would love, love to see them. I check every comment, especially if it's on our website. But I'll put a link uh, down below for uh, for all that. But uh, but yeah, thank you once again for your time. I hope you can get out on the water soon and catch some big ones.
in where the lines are dead. 